Hi right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be installing a standard launcher. It's not gonna be a car launcher, just a standard launcher. I don't know how it's gonna pan out on the head unit. Obviously it's an Android head unit and you can get car launchers. Check out my other videos, I'll put a little link up here for you. But this is just gonna be a standard launcher and I'll show you now which one it's gonna be. So on Google Play, rather than typing car launcher in the search box, I've just typed launcher. Top one that comes up is Microsoft Launcher. So I'm gonna install this one, and I'm gonna see how it pans out on my Android head unit, and I'll take you along with me. It's downloaded, it's just installing it now. Not sure what it's gonna be like on the Android head unit in my car. Don't know if you can see it very well. I've decided to do the video at night time because during the day it can be a bit tricky to see the screen, especially when it's sunny outside all right we'll open that click on open okay so this microsoft launcher is probably made for a mobile phone or a tablet not an android head unit like mine but that being said i'm going to give it a go anyway because it is one of the most popular launchers it's not a car launcher but it is one of the most popular launchers on the play store the writing is quite small not really too sure what's going up going on up here it says welcome to microsoft launcher but I don't know if you make it out. Some of it's like missing, like I don't know if that's part of the design or maybe my screen's messed up, but let's get started. Current wallpaper, yeah that is my current wallpaper, the bubbles. You've probably seen my current wallpaper in other videos. Let's go next. So it's dimming down a little bit. Allow Microsoft Launcher to access your contacts. I don't actually have any contacts. Manage your phone calls. Yes, I have Bluetooth and I use my phone calls. I don't use my tap, my Android head unit for SMS text messages because, oh, I don't know, I could try and find a way to do that. That'd be kind of cool if it read them out to me. Allow Microsoft to launch to access your photos. Yeah, I don't really have any on the unit. Allow for location. Sign up with Microsoft. Use my work or school ca School? I don't have an account. I don't really want an account either, to be honest. Why do I have to have an account with every single thing I use? So annoying. Okay, that was kind of annoying. It want, wanted an account. So I've just made an account and managed to sign in. And this is the next screen it comes to. That's my background. Launcher, click continue here. You're all set up. For more ways to personalize or learn, you can always go to Microsoft Launcher settings of your home screen. Let's go. Okay. So this is what the Microsoft app looks like. It is very small, so it's hard to see the buttons and the icons. I don't think there is a way to change the size of those icons because it's just made for a tablet. I would probably just stick to an actual car launcher because they give you bigger buttons and options to dim the screen while you're driving. So if you go into settings like this, you can change the wallpaper. I've just got those little blobby bits of water. I quite like it. It's different. Um, it's really small so you can't really make it out but if you can these are all the little different settings within it so you can go and back up and restore set Microsoft launcher as your default launcher won't be doing that I can change the wallpaper the theme icon packs notifications let's click that and see what happens so lots of different things if you click this maybe we can um Select the icon pack you want to use. Microsoft Launcher, download new icon theme system. So you might be able to change the size that way. App drawer. App drawer icons. When dragging apps into folder. Display layout. This might be able to, no. Okay, skip that. Let's go back. Theme. There might be a car launcher theme within the launcher app itself. The theme is light. What? Dark, transparent, opacity. Okay. Apparently I've got a meeting invite at 12.30 in three hours and 47 minutes. I don't think I have. That is telling me lies. So if we go back out of this, I knew this probably wouldn't work, but I thought I'd just let you guys have a look anyway, just in case you were interested if you wanted to put a Microsoft Launcher onto your head unit. Um, 
other little things you can do. So you, you've got a news timeline widget. So if there's any like news in your area, I guess if your phone's connected to the head unit by tethering it, you can get notifications for your news in your local area. Gestures, swiping shortcuts. Let's quickly go through that. Swipe up on the dock, expand to the dock. Tap home button from home screen, none. Swipe up, open app drawer, swipe down, search. Two fingers, swipe up, is Cortana, so that'd be quite useful. Launch, settings, screen lock. So there's those are different like ways you can like do stuff on the screen and it will like do the gesture you've asked for. A bit like on, I don't know if you've seen on the new BMWs, they got air gesture so you can like do this with your finger and the volume will go up or go the other way it will go down or you can do stuff like this and it will skip the radio station a bit like that but it's not an air gesture it's just on the screen gesturing so it's got potential to be good I'm not going to try that because I don't want to get too far into it and I'm happy with the car launcher pro launcher that I've been using I'll put a link in the description to that one and also in the top right hand corner here I'll little, put a little link to the video now so that is microsoft launcher i hope you like it if you do please like and subscribe anyway cheers guys see you soon